This video is sponsored by Liquid Sky. Hey guys, welcome to the stream and today my PC is acting up and crashing a lot so I'm gonna play something that's generally quite stable for me as far as I'm aware. Uh, so we're gonna pl play some Oxygen Not Included. This is a game that I've actually been playing for a little bit just because it's a nice chill game and because my computer is acting up I don't want to stress. I'm just gonna chill with some Oxygen Not Included. And of course this is a game where you can name your colonists so you guys in chat you guys are gonna be the names of the people we're gonna work with. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Let's just get this started. I wanna play some Oxygen Not Included, just to, just to make things nice and chill. And as a note, there are no ads running on this video because this video is sponsored by Liquid Sky. Liquid Sky is a cloud computing, cloud gaming service where you can have a whole PC in the cloud. And as I mentioned earlier, my PC has been having some crashing issues and hardware issues. And sometimes it's actually easier for me to log into Liquid Sky install a game and play it there. It's actually pretty quick as well because Liquid Sky's PCs are all in a big server so the download speeds are amazing. I mean I downloaded Overwatch in like three minutes. So that's pretty cool and if you're interested in cloud computing or cloud gaming you can go ahead and check out Liquid Sky. Now back to Oxygen Not Included and getting you guys tortured in my space base. And also I forgot to turn on one of my, my lights so let's just do this, set this up. As you can tell, I have state of state of the art setup here. Let me just shift this box up to prop this light up and do that and do that. And that actually cleans up the green screen a little bit. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Tanamasa! Oxygen not included. Oh yeah. Um, good that you're uh, excited about this. Anyway, I'm just gonna go through this and I'm gonna name these characters of the names I see in chat. So, this is not Otto, this is Tanamasar. This is gonna be Fame Master. And this is gonna be Megaraz. So, Tanamasar, you are a level 8 bodybuilder, plus 1 digging, plus 8 strength with diver's lungs, and you're a scaredy cat. Additional decor expectation. Tanamasar always insult people by accident and exists in a perpetual state of deep regret. I'm sorry, Tanamasar. <laughs> Fame master, you are a level 5 artist with cooking, medicine, tinkering, construction, creativity, but minus strength. You are an interior decorator with noodle arms. The cool loner vibes that radiate off of Fame master never fail to make the colony swoon. Ooh, ooh. Fame master, you're the charmer. And Megaraz, you are a level 7 scientist with plus 7 learning and iron gut, you're a loud sleeper. A Megaraz is a charming, delightful woman unless you make the mistake of messing with one of her friends. Because if you want to get with me, you gotta get with my friends. And we are gonna be staying in... Uh... Zaktan. I'm not gonna put much thought into that. Embark. Ah, uh, we're gonna build Zaktan here with people from chat. Here we go. Let's pause the game. Our crew has been stranded here. There we go. And let's have a look at what we're dealing with. We got a nice source of water there. We got a nice source of metal up there. Is this coal? Coal will be very useful. Uh, is this all coal? Yep, yep. How is uh, oxygen? Oxygen is going to be good. We got some oxalite around here. All right. Let's build a respectable base, shall we? Uh, Got to remember the hotkeys here. We're going to dig this. We are going to dig down to the water, I think. Like that. That looks good. And we're just going to expand out both ways. All right, get to work. Ah. Fame Master says, I thought you would re-roll. Nope, nope, not re-rolling at all. Not re-rolling at all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys get what you get. Ah. Now, colony requires toilets. Let's let's build some basic stuff. Toilets are in there we go. Outhouse. Which way should we build it? Probably this way. Ah, here we go. What's the key to speed up again? 
I forgot what the key to speed up was. Uh, slow speed tab? I see. So we can speed things along. Here we are going to go ahead and just... Yeah, just drop the outhouse there. We're gonna get things going. We gotta build a lot of things. Uh, we're gonna need a ladder. Probably going up this way. We're gonna need some storage space. Uh, actually, no. Let's let's build what's important. Uh, food, uh, base. We need metal. I see. So we do actually need to dig up to all this metal here. That would be handy. So I'm gonna dig all of that. We're gonna have this ladder just continue through here. And we're gonna speed things along. Ah. Left up. Ah, yeah, we do actually have some copper ore here. But it'll be easier if we could just get all the way back up here. Now we could prioritize all of this. Get all that going. We're gonna wanna dig out most of this. We'll turn that into a room, I think. We can start digging here as well, if anyone gets idle. Let's not break through quite yet. Okay. So it's looking good. Ah, that is not looking good. Um, can you do that? And dig that? <laughs> Don't want to get our colonists stuck. Plain master almost got you killed. Do those plants produce oxygen? I don't... Do plants produce oxygen? I'm not too sure, actually. Anyway, food. We need to start setting up some food production, I think. Uh, should we produce food here? I probably should keep things somewhat organized, right? So... Let's get one of those down. We're gonna need a power supply. Let's go for a manual generator. I suppose power can start going over to this side. That should be fine. We'll have a manual generator. We're gonna have an electric wire that just goes across. We need things functional and a tiny battery. We'll put two. Get things as functional as possible straight off the bat. Utilities, do we need anything? Uh, we need a research station, yes. And we need cots. How do I want to do the cots? Like that. Alright, they're all asleep. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's a... Megaraz, you're the loud sleeper, right? Is that... Is that the range of your snoring? <laughs> uh, Megaraz, you're keeping everyone up. I think you're the loud sleeper. Stats. There we go. Loud sleeper. All right, no problem, no problem. We're gonna keep building things here. LG the oxidizer. It would be handy to have one of those. Gonna have to hook that up to the power as well. We've charged up the power, that's good. We're probably gonna need to save some space for a second microbe musher. And we should probably put down some storage compactors at this point, right? Yeah, that should be good. Okay, okay. I basically know how to play this game. <laughs> ah, Tanamasa, Steam Sales starts tomorrow? Steam Sales, that's... Uh... No fabrications queued. Uh, we should probably get the mush bar going. This continuous production of mush bars, if anything. Can we prioritize building that cot? That would be handy. We'll prioritize that as well. That's gonna start getting us some oxygen. We can tile up here. That'll get us some algae, actually. Now, we need a research station. Re 
research station. Uh, let's... This does need power. But I'm gonna build it down here. We'll eventually need to... get things going anyway. We're gonna do that. We're gonna extend that. We're gonna extend that. Can I actually get down there? You have to dig that. We'll do that. Okay. That looks good, right? Okay. Steam sale equals empty wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Why do steam sales need to be at the end of the month? Um, They're like in the middle of summer, really, aren't they? Generally speaking. Now, we need to prioritize a few things here. Uh, we do not have enough power coming in, which is unfortunate. But we actually don't need to produce this much food right now. Let's prioritize the research station. We're keeping it on max speed right now, just to... Uh, Uh, just to make sure things are going along nicely. This algae the oxidizer is going well. Makes it easier to breathe while they sleep. Ah, fantastic. Tanamasa says, my first sale was like, take all my money, but now, like Sajuk, I buy nothing or only a few games. Yeah, I actually buy very few games at like these steam summer sales and things like that. <laughs> I only buy like if I really have been looking forward to a certain kind of game and I see like a, a discount, then yeah, it's okay. Now, we need to start uh, research. What should we get first? These algae terrariums are pretty good. I like them. Power regulation. You know what? Get to farming. And we're gonna prioritize the heck out of that. Missing foundation. Oh, jeez. Did not realize. And we're just gonna slightly prioritize the power generation. Because we do need power to conduct the research. Okay, okay, that looks good, that looks good. We're gonna continue. Megarez is gonna continue researching here. Fame Master, look at you go. Ah. What are your stats? Ugly Cryo, Noodle Arms, Noodle Arms. Well, it's a good thing that thing's not run on arm power. <laughs> All right. So things are going along quite nicely. Uh, you got to build one bed far, I think. The beds are okay. Ah, uh, that charge up the battery is pretty good. So now, let's see. What else do we need to build? Probably another generator, right? Get two of those going. I know later on you can get, like, coal power and all of that, but that's all... It's all finite energy. <laughs> Supercomputer. Would be cool to have that there. These guys never run out of leg energy, so it's fine. Ooh, new duplicant. Let's choose a duplicant. Let's see, which one do I want? Uh, cooking, tinkering, iron gut, anemic. Into your decorator, biohazard, can't dig it, buff. Buff, but can't dig it. You know what? I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Turner here. But we are going to name this character. Let's see who's in chat right now. Uh, it's gonna be Grim Toadstool. Grim Toadstool, you are eleven level seven chef, three athletics, cooking, strength. You are buff, but you can't dig it. The, this Grim Toadstool is paralyzed by the knowledge that others have memories and perceptions of them they can't control. 
fantastic. Grim Toadstool, welcome to Zactown here on Asteroid. Who knows what, because it's a mystery. Ah. There we go, we've got that going. We could somewhat prioritize that. And we just researched something. Ah, fantastic. We've got farming. After that, what I like is power regulation. We're gonna get that going. And that means we can now get algae terrariums all over the place just to maintain oxygen levels. I'm gonna dig out a bit of that. Fantastic. Uh, what else can we build now? Food, planter box, micro musher, we've got compost. Okay, nothing, nothing particularly important right now. That's a priority. We're gonna set all the power generation to priority six. Yeah, we're gonna continue power regulation there. Looking good, looking good. This is actually going very nicely. <laughs> uh, we're gonna eventually need to dig out a bit more space there. We could probably turn this off. Disable that building, please. Oh, right, we're out of one bed. Oh, I see what you guys were talking about. We build one bed far away so Mega Raz can sleep there by themselves. I see what you mean. So if that's the case, cot right there. We're gonna prioritize this cot, Mega Raz. You're gonna sleep in the storage area. Unrefrigerated food. I don't think we have refrigerators yet. We'll keep an eye on oxygen levels here. I think it's fine. Oxygen's actually okay. I'm gonna need to dig all of that. Do we actually have idle people? Okay, let's set Mega Raz to that. We could get another cot here. And we could just continue to dig. Which direction do we want to dig to? Uh, polluted water is actually kind of handy. You know what? We're just gonna con I'm gonna dig straight up this way. Nearly impenetrable. Let's not dig to there. But we are going to do this and then we're gonna have a ladder that's gonna climb up this way. No, so, if you guys are so free, go ahead and pave all that. Looks good. Now you guys shouldn't be idle. Lots to do. Ah, it's going well. It's going well. Grim Toadstool, yay, I'm in the game, yep, you are. Now, Megaraz is gonna go ahead and sleep over there. So at this point, we just have to kind of wait for uh, tech to be researched. Algae. We'll get the bed sort of interspersed with that. Because it just continues to produce oxygen. I know it says insufficient oxygen generation, but it's because our algae deoxidizer is turned off. All right, this is pretty good progress for 20 minutes. Are we gonna run out of food? I think we're okay on food, right? Oh, storage not assigned, right, I forgot to do that. Uh, organic. Do not put polluted dirt in here. I forgot to assign things to the storage compactors, so now they can actually sweep things up. If I go to, uh, sweep. Sweep all of this stuff up. Ah, fantastic. Research! What do I want next? Combustion, advanced power regulation. We need to use liquid piping, gas piping, temperature modulation, pressure management. 
sanitation, filtration. I think we'll go for liquid piping at this point. We've got power regulation, which means we can replace these batteries. Uh, how do I want to do this? If I put a battery right there, let's prioritize that. Get that charging up, so then we can deconstruct these two tiny batteries. Okay. Oxygen, getting a bit low, so we can enable that building again. We can now deconstruct these tiny batteries. Megaraz is now going to sleep over on that side. There we go. Not disturbing anyone. Ah, fantastic. Grim Toadstool says, My character seems to do relevant work. I feel a disconnect. <laughs> it's okay. On this asteroid, all of you, Megaraz, Fame Master, uh, Grim Toadstool, and Tanamasa, you're all working super hard, super diligently. Now, let's get this main battery down here. Looking good, looking good. No one's idling, there's always things to do. Research complete. What research? Oh no, that must be the old one, that's fine. Oxygen's back to nice levels. Polluted water. I could definitely use this for something. You can clean polluted water into clean water if you start to get a bit low on water supply. Ah, I'm looking forward to more updates for this game to get even more content because once you, you know pretty much how to play through this game, it's actually uh, pretty straightforward. I think at this point I can deprioritize these things. And you know what? Prioritize this. Get all that done. These algae terrariums are emitting 40 grams a second. I can probably disable that again. For oxygen, I could, uh... Should I place one there? I suppose it's fine. Keep some fresh air by the outhouse. Research task complete. Now, what do we want next? Percolation filters carbon dioxide. Electrolyzer produces oxygen using piped-in water. Biodistiller, gas filter, liquid filter. You know what? Let's get combustion, so we can turn that coal into some power. Uh, we should have some coal, consumable ore. We have a decent amount. There's a lot more coal around here and over here. So if we want more coal, definitely can do it. And I'm going to prioritize these algae things to make sure they're always running. Very good, we're starting to explore out into the danger zones over here. Does this game have a goal or is it just survive as long as possible? Right now it's just survive, but uh, Don't Starve started out in a similar vein where... Um, oh, there's no foundation for here. Uh, Don't Starve started out in a similar vein where it was just a survival game, but then they started to add a story and you can go from world to world and there was a whole bad guy thing going on, so... Uh, I expect there will be a story and stuff put in at a later date. Gonna need a ladder coming down here into the water. Building lacks resources. Are we out of algae? We're actually out of algae. Uh, we could dig more up here. How do I want to do this? 
I could have a ladder come up here. No, let's not do that. Just dig all this. And I will be creating a floor. One, two, three, four. Right here. And we could dig all that up. That won't mess with our oxygen levels. Fantastic. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Research still going through. Food supplies, I think, are still doing okay. Field rations, 13.9 kilos. Ah, fantastic. Ah. Oh yeah, um, the game does get more difficult the more people join. When you have a few small amount of people like this, uh, it's actually pretty easy to manage, but things can go along very slowly. Uh, when you get more people in, it becomes a lot harder to manage. You'd think more hands means more work gets done, but it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it gets more and more complicated. Anyway, next guy is coming in 90... well, at this speed, a little less. We're gonna get a new visitor in here. Made a mess, polluted water. Who made a mess? Oh, would you look at that sand, how conveniently that sand is there. <laughs> uh, mop this up, please. I think uh, we should make this into a proper bathroom, shall we? Manual lock. That is not what I wanted to do. Um, I don't know what happened to my mouse. Uh, that is not... No, okay, good, good. Dig that. Tile that. We'll airlock that out. Choose a duplicate. Now, which one do we want? Gastrophobia, biohazard, flatulence, mouth breather. Uncultured, twinkle toes. Alright, let's go with this one. Now, who is going to be the lucky person to join us? I think it is going to be... I don't know if your name will fit, but inconsistent idiosyncrasy. Yes, your name does fit. Inconsistent idiosyncrasy. I think I spelled that right. Welcome to the team. And let's let's get this door built, shall we? Ah, look at that. They've actually built this ladder up here. So we can start planning how we want to explore out this way. You can see there's a, like a little cold area over there. We'll be using this access path for something eventually. There we go. Polluted water, polluted water. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's fine. What are we currently researching? Combustion? Oh, combustion is actually... Uh, we got all that. Power, power. Have we unlocked the coal generator? We haven't. Ah, uh, we need a bit more. Performance combustion. Advanced power regulation. No, just finish that first. I think we'll be finishing soon. There we go. Now, research. We got combustion. Next up, I want uh, sanitation, maybe? Yeah, sanitation. That's the next one. And that means we can now put down a coal generator. We could put it there. Get all that built. Coal generator can go right here. Get all that done. Did I put that down? There we go. With coal generation, we'll actually be able to not have to worry about the manual generation. And next up, uh, we are researching some sanitation stuff. 
is gonna be good. We can turn this back on, enable building. We've got some polluted oxygen here. Is it seeping through from here? I'm not sure, but uh, we're gonna airlock this off. Okay. So I've got this hooked up now. Oh, fantastic. And have that there and power is not going to be a problem anymore i think we should have coal i think we do have coal right yes we got plenty of coal now our research i see okay access to there Oxygen inside the bathroom is actually better than outside the bathroom. <laughs> That's kind of strange. Get a couple more of those down. Ah, fantastic. Tanamasa says, at this moment, Zack knows he effed up. Uh, no, actually... We're doing okay, we're doing okay. I know a bit of polluted oxygen seeped in here and there, but uh, it's no biggie, no biggie. Now before, where did all of this polluted water come from? Did someone make a mess? What? I don't know where the polluted water came from, that's okay. What I wanna do is I want to get some actual piping systems going here before we close out. So what I'd like to set up is a shower. A shower would be fantastic. So we should be getting that tech pretty soon. The sanitation will allow a shower and an actual lavatory. Fantastic. I mean, this is cycle, we're going to cycle eight here, so day eight. Pretty decent base, right? For eight days, pretty decent. Just nervously awaiting for the first lump of coal. Yeah, I don't think coal is being delivered because we're actually keeping on top of our power generation. We're not exactly using a lot of power right now. It's just uh, this algae deoxidizer and the research stations. Uh, do we still have algae? We do. It's a little low. Research task completed. Fantastic. We have sanitation. Uh, water purifier. Uses sand to purify polluted water. I want that next. Okay. So here's how I'm going to do some things. How do I want to do this? Okay. Um, actually, we'll just leave it running. Plumbing. Shower. So the shower is, needs clean water. And then it's going to output dirty water. Okay. So let's say... I dig out a new section here. We're going to put a nice floor. Prioritize all of this, please. Also, did I prioritize that and that? There we go. Those are keeping the oxygen going there. And we are going to... Oh, I got the air deodorizer. Removes polluted oxygen. We did have some polluted oxygen here. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, uh, shower. Let's put in a bathroom section, shall we? We're gonna have... Shower. Lavatory. That makes sense, okay. Good, good, good. And we are going to... 
continue the floor this way. Dig up the rest of that. Prioritize all of this, please. I want to build a system. I love building systems and the way gas and liquids can be shipped around in this game. That's pretty much the best systems in this game so far. What are we currently researching? Filtration? To get the water purifier? Yeah. Okay, so we got the shower. Do these things need power? No. Uh, plumbing. Liquid pipe. So how do I want to do this? So this needs clean water. This also needs clean water. So, what we want is to have... A liquid pump at the bottom of our water supply. Probably not like that. We'll have the ladder go all the way down. Plumbing. Liquid pump. Right there. Food shortage. Not a problem. We'll prioritize that. We've got a basic setup here. We'll put a wall coming up here. We need to prioritize building all of that. Almost got that. Now I need that uh, liquid pipe. We just finished more research. What are we going for next? Performance combustion, med bay, insulation. You know what? Grab the gas piping. Liquid pipe needs to come out here and come up this way. Uh, input is there. So clean water goes into the shower and the lavatory. That makes sense. Get all this going. And we got water purifier. Which is gonna go here. So this is gonna purify the polluted water. So the output is gonna go this way into the intake. This is gonna go... No, that's... I have a bridge, right? Liquid pipe bridge... Intake output... Liquid pipe... It's gonna go here... And then we are going to have... That makes sense. And then we're going to put a liquid vent there. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm trying to do, but uh, <laughs> let's get it all done, yeah? Okay, just get that all done. Ah, fantastic. Now we'll see them do that. You could just connect it in the straight line. I'm, I wasn't too sure about that. Uh, you're, you're talking about here that I could connect this straight in a straight line. I could, but then I'd never get to use the bridge and I want to use the bridge. <laughs> Let's make it unnecessarily complex so it looks impressive, yeah? We have a new duplicate to print. Who do I want? Bottomless stomach, can't dig it. Gastrophobia, naturally robust, quick to learner. Ooh, this guy. This guy. Default name Stinky, but we are going to call this guy... The Martian Creeper. A much better name than Stinky. 
The Martian Creeper, you are a level 5 scientist, athletics, digging, tinkering, learning, naturally robust. You are a quick learner, gastrophobia. This, uh... This, the Martian Creeper, has never been invited to a party, which is a shame. His dance moves are incredible. The Martian Creeper... Welcome to the team. And you also say, have I ever considered making some cool looking overlays and live chat or something? It kind of makes the stream uh, that more artistic. I like the clean look. I like the clean look. I don't generally like putting lots of graphics and overlays and stuff like that. I could. I could. Um, I'm, I'm quite capable. I just don't like it. I, I like it keeping it clean. I mean, I could put my logo somewhere, but then... Why? My face is here. <laughs> ah... Grim Toadstool. Unnecessarily complex to make it look impressive? That's some British attitude. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Who made a mess? Really? Mop that up. And I think we also need a new... Uh, gas permeable towser. That's good. Medicine. We got a medical cot. Uh, furniture. We're gonna need another cot, I think. All right, this system is almost set up. I think, uh, which is the overlay for water? There we go. So we have a water pump down here. Does this need power? It totally needs power. Uh, do prioritize that, will you? Ah, uh, that needs power as well. Looking all this up. There we go. So, I think it was, yeah, F6. So we got water, clean water, coming up here to feed the shower and feed the lavatory. The lavatory is gonna output dirty water. You can see your clean water is now coming up. Fantastic, look at that. Ah, clean water is now coming up through here. Polluted water, look at them, they're taking showers. Gets filtered in here, which will then output here and then just drip the clean water back into our water supply, which should... Is this working? What is it? There we go. So there we go. It's now cleaning the dirty water so that the clean water is now put back into our water supply. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, works perfectly. Sustainable drinking water. Now, we are still using more water than we're, uh, uh, than we're outputting from here, of course. Uh, but what we could do is we could filter this polluted water into this water purifier or just build our, a new one. So, for example, let's go ahead and it should be under refinement, water purifier. Oh, we can't actually fit it there. Do I put it here? How do I want to do this? If I just... Uh, or should I just pump it in? I could do that. So if I dig out this way and build a ladder down to here... And then we go ahead and get plumbing, uh, liquid pump, we put that there, we can change that to a bit first, okay. How's oxygen levels? Oxygen levels are okay. We probably need another oxygen thing, but it's fine. We're gonna need power, electrical wire. Just, I know it's a bit ugly, but we're gonna bring this along here, into there. Get all this prioritized. Get it all done. Ah, there you go. Look at this wonderful system. Love it. Just spitting the water back out into our store there. Idle. Can you guys not... Oh, they need a bit more space. Ah, 
Come on, clear that up. That will unlock this. There we go. So now we can do this. The electrical wire can come through here, like that. And just build the ladder down to there. And then we're gonna put plumbing. Liquid pipe. It's gonna come back through this way. We could make it look a bit nicer by hiding it in there, bringing it down this way. And we want it to come along... Now, you guys said I could just uh, bridge it over. This should work, right? You guys said it would work? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> um, insufficient resources, dirt. Jeez, are we out of dirt? Are you serious? Well, I guess we can... Just dig all of that. Right? Do we have enough food? For now. Okay. Is it actually working? There we go. We're pumping the dirty water into our system. Ahaha! <laughs> there we go. It's working. There we go. <sighs> it's actually working. Uh, Tanamasa says, now you pump toxic water on the shower. No, no, this is the output, not the input. So now we are now constantly pumping this polluted water in through here, in through here, into our water purifier. You can actually overlap that and it's fine. And now we're converting all of this polluted water into nice clean water so we don't run out of water. Look at that. And of course we can top off this polluted water by just digging into here, letting this spill on over. We could even pump this back over to here, crack open that, crack open that, get all the polluted water just filling into here. Ah, oh, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. Did I actually forget to set more research? You know what, just go all the way up there. And they did actually dig all this. Our storage is full, but it's okay. <laughs> there we go. Oxygen levels are looking okay. We probably do need another algae deoxidizer somewhere around here. I should probably deconstruct that. So I'd build that there, but I could put gas permeable tiles. Like that. Oxygen. Algae. Power, electrical wire. We could even put a manual airlock there, put some tiles going up there, make it into a proper bathroom. This bathroom has its own water purification system in it. <laughs> This done, will you? The coal generator's going, power's at max, everything's running a okay. We're taking the polluted water into here, and that's pretty much all the cool things that we need to be doing, I think. Mm. We could do gas stuff as well. Uh, if we look northwards, you can see here there's some chlorine and some hydrogen. Hydrogen's very good for. Um, you have to have idle people. Chlorine's very good for some... Uh, no, the hydrogen is good for fuel production. But there we go. I think that is a nice little base we got going. Fantastic. We don't have enough dirt. That should solve that problem. <laughs> we just need storage uh, storage things, I think. Because we're going to run out of food because we don't have enough dirt. Because our, all our colonists eat dirt. You guys eat dirt. <laughs> that's not an insult. That's literally what happens. We've also run out of dirt for our research station. Okay. But anyway, 
That is cycle 12. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. Build a farm? Did I actually get that tech? I'm not sure I got the tech. I don't have fine dining. I can't speed research up anymore. Oh, these things do need to be set to consume all, except for... Actually, no, just store everything. It's fine. There we go. That should get things going again. There should be plenty of dirt there, right? This is... Oh, this is sandstone. Actually... There really isn't actually much dirt on this map. This is all sandstone. I did not notice. This is dirt. Oh. But one more guy gets to join here. Who do we have in chat that I haven't used? Let me just look for a name here. A lot of you guys watching aren't actually chatting right now. You know what? I can open up a viewer list. Let's see. Who else of you is in there? Ah, I see lots of names, lots of names. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and pick... Alert, Alert VS, you are in there, yes, okay. Alert VS, you are gonna join the team as... I'm gonna go for this guy. Default name Nails? No, it's... Is it to alert VS? Alert VS, you are construction learning di with diver's lungs and a scaredy cat. Uh, people often expect a duplicate named alert VS to be tough. Oof. But they're all pretty huge wimps. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> alert VS, welcome to the team. What are we researching right now? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. That's a pretty good overview of the game so far. Nice little base I've got going. It's pretty much self-sustained. We've got a bit of a collapse there. No problem. We've got some uh, oxygen generation going there. Oxygen generation going there. That's not going to be a problem. Building entombment. Oh, that's that thing. Power generation. Plenty of coal left, I think. Yeah. All of this fancy liquid management. Very good. Constantly producing new clean water to make sure we never run out of a water supply here. Very good. Ah. I'm gonna call it there. This has been a chill stream. Look at that, everyone's going to bed. Nice and relaxed, nice and chill. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I started today's stream a little bit late because uh, I had to rush back, I was in the middle of something, but we got back, started up the stream, and my computer started crashing, so I decided not to play that. <laughs> it was Morrowind. Morrowind started crashing my computer, so it's fine. Decided to play Oxygen Not Included. Nice, chill, nice, relax. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go and chill in real life. I'm gonna make more coffee. I actually ran out of coffee. My coffee is finished. Uh, I didn't have any for this whole stream, so I'm gonna go make more now. Thank you so much for joining Tanamasa Grim Toadstool Work Flosen Alert VS says haha. That's like the only thing you said in chat. Yeah, I know you're there. I can see you. Um, Lord Pekka M0SC1T0 Fame Master Super Sajuk. Thank you so much for joining. And all of you guys here. Part of my crew, the Martian Creeper, Inconsistent, idiosy Idiosyncrasy, Fame Master, Megaraz. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, but I'm going to call it night. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and it should be the finale of Stronghold. But for now, bye.